Hello, so today I am joined with the Predator XB3 and the Acer EI, the really big one. <laughs> both are great monitors, but both use different adaptive sync technologies. One uses G-Sync and one uses FreeSync. But what does that mean and why are they different? Let's find out. To understand this, first off, we have to talk about screen tearing. This happens when the video feed isn't in sync with the display's refresh rate, and it usually ends up in a screen tear that happens somewhere along the screen. It's a line, the top and the bottom aren't in sync, and it's pretty ugly. Not only that, but it's really annoying and it makes it impossible to play fast-paced games like first-person shooters. The two leading GPU giants, NVIDIA and AMD, have their own solutions to this problem, G-Sync and FreeSync respectively, both which use dynamic refresh rates. So, say you have a monitor that's 60 hertz. This means it can refresh 60 times per second but the output from your GPU isn't fixed. It varies depending on the game, the settings. And when the GPU renders a frame that isn't delivered in time with the display's refresh rate, the screen tears. It doesn't really matter if the GPU is too low or too high. If the timing's off, it's gonna tear. So with G-Sync and FreeSync, the monitor and the GPU essentially sync up, controlling the refresh rate dynamically. Now, how are they different? NVIDIA's G-Sync was the first to launch and it's the company's proprietary technology, so it requires NVIDIA's permission, royalties and vigorous testing before any monitor is deemed G-Sync or G-Sync compatible. Whereas AMD's FreeSync is, well, free to use by manufacturers, so there's less added cost, meaning there's more FreeSync monitors available, meaning a lower price point. Another thing to pay attention to, G-Sync monitors have a variable refresh rate, whereas FreeSync monitors usually work to a fixed range. And this is something that varies between monitors, so it's something to check. And I mentioned this, as sometimes the range is actually quite narrow, and if your GPU falls below this threshold, it can result in your screen stuttering. Now, picking sides. Usually, a FreeSync or a G-Sync monitor would require an AMD or an NVIDIA GPU, respectively. So, traditionally, you would show one to choose your allegiance to. Now, however, there are some NVIDIA GPUs that do support a FreeSync monitor, if that monitor is certified G-Sync compatible. But the benefit of this is, is that you'll essentially be able to choose between AMD and some NVIDIA GPUs. All in all, both these technologies have achieved their goal by eliminating screen tearing, reducing input lag, and smoothing out your gameplay experience. Myself, I have used some really great FreeSync monitors, but I've also found the consistency to be a little bit hit or miss, whereas with G-Sync, I haven't had that problem. Overall, it's really up to you whether you want to scour the market and find a really well-reviewed and well-rated FreeSync monitor for a little bit cheaper, or whether you want to splash out and get a G-Sync monitor, or whether you want to kind of split it down the middle and get a G-Sync compatible one. Anyway, let me know in the comments below which one you have, which one you'd like and why. I'll see you in the next video.